This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 319. What if I am the only one? Part two, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the authors. So it's Thursday, it's almost the weekend. You might need that little extra push to get through the rest of today and tomorrow. So here's an inspirational quote for you. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Benjamin Franklin. And with that, let's get to part two of Steve's post as we optimize your life. What if I am the only one? Part two by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. Family. As the old saying goes, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Wait, that's not the one. You can't pick your family. There we go. You are born into a family. Your mom is your mom and your dad is your dad. And you've inherited whatever eating habits and lifestyle habits they have. I get quite a few emails from those who have out of shape or unhealthy families and are struggling to break free of that mold. Let's be honest. Nobody wants to be told they're out of shape or unhealthy. Although I don't have any children, I have to imagine it would be even harder to hear those words coming out of my child's mouth. Maybe you're part of an unhealthy, close-knit family and you want to change your life. What can you do? It's time to channel your inner Captain America. As productivity guru Leo Babauta will tell you, quote, you can't motivate others to do things. The best you can hope for is to inspire them with your actions, end quote. This is all a change in your frame of mind. Rather than thinking, oh man, nobody in my family is healthy and I'm going it alone. Instead, it's, I have an opportunity to change the fate of my family and my family's future generations. It starts with me. Kind of cool, huh? Be strong in your convictions. Thanks, Dad, but I need to go for a run this afternoon. Hey, Mom, can I help cook dinner tonight? It's going to be a healthier option because I'm changing my life. Similar to situations with your coworkers, although they might not initially ask for help, after you transform yourself, you might start to get a few emails. Hey, your father and I are trying to drop a few pounds. Any tips? Don't force them to change. That will absolutely backfire. Instead, be strong in your stance and set a shining example for others to follow. Once you start to succeed, you might just inspire change in those you love. Your significant other. This one is the toughest of them all and the one I get the most emails about. You are interested in getting in shape or losing weight, but there are a few problems. The person you're dating, A, is different than you. They can eat whatever they want and not gain weight and don't see why you can't do the same. Or B, doesn't want to get healthy. Can't we do fill in the blank instead? Let's go out to dinner at fill in the blank. This person loves spending time with you but doesn't have any interest in getting healthy. Or C, doesn't want you to get healthy. Heard this before? But honey, I love what you look like now and I'll love you no matter what. Oftentimes your significant other doesn't have the motivation to change and or doesn't want to be left behind. So it's easier to appeal to your emotions rather than make a change for him or herself. These situations suck, but there is hope yet, my friend. One, unhealthy spouse, boyfriend, or girlfriend? Find an activity that you two enjoy doing together, besides that other activity. Hiking, frisbee, yoga, swing dancing, whatever. Find something that you two enjoy and find a way to do it on a regular basis. Once you start acting healthy, it's easier to start thinking healthy and in turn, eating healthy. Two, offer to cook. Maybe you don't do the cooking normally and the meals are always unhealthy or you always dine out. It's time to grow up and learn how to cook a decent meal. A romantic healthy dinner by candlelight is totally gonna score you major points. And three, let them know why you're doing it. If you're dating somebody that says, why change? I love you how you are. Let them know that you're not doing it for him or her. You're doing it for you, even if you are kind of doing it for them too. Explain you want to live a better life and the support of your significant other would mean the world to you. Dating somebody who doesn't have the same healthy values as you is difficult, but not a deal breaker. It's on you to lead the charge with kicking results. If I were a gambling man, which I totally am, I'd bet that your positive changes and improved outlook on life will have a positive effect on your wife, husband, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Don't insult them for their choices or force them to improve. Just be awesome, and they will follow. 
You just listened to part two of the post titled, What If I Am The Only One? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Steve and Leo Babata, whom he quoted earlier, are absolutely right. If you try to force someone to do anything, to change their thoughts, to change their habits, you will get resistance. But on the other hand, if you can be the model, if you can say, I'm doing this with or without you, for me, they might start to follow along. So what I really liked about Steve's tips was that it was all about things you can control. You can't control their actions. You can't control their thoughts or their emotions. What you can control is what you are doing, offering to cook, telling them why you are doing it, planning an activity that you can enjoy together. These are within your control. And that's really the best way to tackle it. You can offer, of course, to have them join you. Help me with the cooking or help me plan this menu. But ultimately, it's gotta be you doing these behaviors. And sometimes what often works is when you try and eat healthy, start to manage your stress and start to exercise, you can say you're doing it for them too in that you wanna be with them on this earth longer. By getting healthier, you're hoping to live longer and to spend more time with them that usually wins them over too. Now, really quickly before I go, if you wanna show some support for all of our podcasts, there are many ways to help out, both free and otherwise. Come by oldpodcast.com slash help to check it out. All right, that's it from me for today. I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday Q&A show. So definitely come back for that where your optimal life awaits.